everyone, welcome back to Sweet and Spicy with Kezia. I hope you guys are well and that you're keeping safe. So I know I'm a little late, but I just wanted to say Happy New Year, Happy 2021. I hope that you have an amazing year full of blessings, opportunity, joy and happiness. I pray that the Lord continues to keep you and bless you and your family. So today we are making the most delicious starter it can be a starter a snack whatever you want we are making chicken and mushroom cups which it is light it's full of flavor it's creamy just absolutely delicious okay so over here i have the ingredients for my filling there's two components to the filling it is this chicken filling that i'm about to make and a bechamel sauce which we will mix together and that will make our filling so over here i have two chicken breasts which i have cut into small cubes like that. I have 100 grams of sliced mushrooms. I have one, one stalk of celery. I've just taken one, one of those. I have some pink Himalayan salt, some black pepper. I have a chili and garlic seasoning and a rainbow chicken spice. If you're using the seasoning I'm using, it has salt in it already, so be careful on the salt that you're going to add. Okay, so let's move on to the filling. I started making my filling. I added in some olive oil, like that, and I added in my celery, and now we're just gonna let this fry just a little bit before we add our chicken. So I'm just gonna stir this. You don't want this to get too soft because you still want a bit of a crunch. Okay, so I'm gonna add in my chicken. And we're just going to saute this until the chicken is brown. Okay, so as you can see, my chicken is slightly brown. You can still see a little bit pink, but that's all right. Okay, so I'm going to add in my mushrooms. And then we're going to mix this together. All right, and then I'm going to add my seasoning. So I'm using the rainbow chicken spice, but you can use any seasoning you want. You can also add a bit of kick to it if you like. Right, so I'm just gonna add a teaspoon. Then I'm gonna add my salt. This is chili and garlic seasoning. Just gonna put a little bit of that. And then, I'm gonna crack some pepper on the top. All right, so I'm just gonna let this, I'm gonna mix this and then I'm gonna let this sit for another maybe five to 10 minutes. Okay, so while you're stirring it, you'll notice the water will start to come out of the mushrooms, like over there you can see. We're gonna cook it until the water is all dried out. Okay, so these are my two components of my filling. You can see my chicken is all done and it smells delicious. So I made a bechamel sauce earlier and you can see it's also very nice and thick which is what you're looking for. So now I'm just going to mix the two together. Be careful that you don't over salt one of the fillings because together you want the perfect amount of salt. Okay, so I'm just adding this in. Okay, and then we're just going to mix this together. And this is our filling. So I'm gonna let this cool while we roll out our pastry. Okay, so now we're gonna roll out our pastry. I have a muffin tin that I have just greased. I ran out of spray and cook, but you can just spray it with that to grease it. It's a very crucial step, otherwise your cups are going to get stuck. All right, so I'm just gonna flour my surface. Okay, you wanna make sure it's nicely floured so that your pastry doesn't stick. Okay, I'm using this puff pastry. You can get it at Woolworths. You can see that's what it looks like. Okay, so we're just gonna take this out and put it on the surface. So I have laid out my pastry on the surface, taken out the plastic protective cover. I have floured my surface. I'm just gonna flour the top now. We wanna do this so that it sticks to, it doesn't stick to the surface or to the knife that we're gonna cut with. Okay, and then this is already pre-rolled, so that's why I'm not going to roll it any further, but you want to get it quite thin, like that. Okay. Also, make sure that your dough is at room temperature, that way it will rise easier. 
easily. Okay, so I'm gonna cut it and I want about 12 little blocks just like that. I am gonna get more because my pastry is bigger, right, just like that. Then I'm gonna cut this way. Okay, and then we're gonna start putting it in our muffin tin and then we're gonna start filling it. Okay, so I got my squares over here and I'm gonna start putting it in my muffin tray. Okay. So you want to put it in, press it down, and you can also push it together and create creases. And you want a good amount of dough on the bottom so that it will create a nice base. So just like that, we're just pushing it in. And you want to leave some pastry on the top so then it has a beautiful finish. Just like that, and I'm going to continue to do that with all of my blocks. Okay, so I have filled the majority of them. Just to let you see again, I'm just gonna do it one more time. Okay, so I've got my square. We're gonna just push that in. And then you want to create a bit of, you wanna create some creases. So then you've got a pretty finish. Just like that. All right, so I'm just gonna finish these two up and then we're gonna start filling them. fold all my little cups so I've beaten one egg and I'm just gonna use that to brush whatever is exposed and that is not filled with pudding okay and then we are gonna bake this for about 10 to 15 minutes until the pastry is cooked in a preheated oven of 200 degrees Celsius so I'm just going to continue brushing this and then I'm gonna throw it in the oven See what it's done? Okay, so this is what it looks like after 15 minutes in the oven. You can see they're beautifully golden brown. Look how nice that looks. Okay, so that is what it looks like. You can see it looks amazing and it is absolutely delicious. I hope you guys tried this recipe. If you do, tag me on Instagram and, and Facebook at Sweet and Spicy with Kezia or send me a message. I'd love to know if you tried it and if you enjoyed it. Um, so thank you so much for all the people who have subscribed to me and have liked my videos. I really do appreciate all the support and love that you've shown me over the past year and I can't wait to continue to make videos for you. So please, if you're not subscribed, subscribe down below so that I can continue making videos and that we can continue enjoying our culinary journey together so I hope you guys have an amazing day further bye